In this video, I'll demonstrate the Corel Font Manager, which is an application that works with Corel Draw and Photo Paint to search, filter, and organize fonts, and includes many other font related features. The Font Manager is included with both Windows and Mac platforms and works the same way in both. In this tutorial, I'll refer to the Windows version. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. As we've seen in previous tutorials, while in the text tool, I can open the font list in the property bar. In my case, there are 1,481 fonts available for use. Some of these came with Windows, and the rest are fonts found in Corel Draw's watched folders. By default, the only folder watched for fonts is Documents, Corel, Corel Content, Fonts, including all subfolders. I can filter this list to show fonts with specific properties, or to see fonts in specific collections. As we'll see, the same filter criteria appear in the Font Manager as well. The Font Manager is a standalone application that accompanies Corel Draw. It can be launched from its own icon, or for Windows users, directly from within Corel Draw via the Application Launcher. As I can see down here, the number of available fonts is 1481, matching what appeared in Corel Draw's font list. But what I get in the Font Manager is much more information about the fonts themselves. Fonts are listed by family, and clicking on any font shows its glyphs in this section. I'll cover glyphs a bit farther on. I can switch to Details view to see the font version, technology, code page, designer, etc. This slider can be used to change the display size of the font name, and I have a similar slider for glyph display size. The color bars show font status. The green bar indicates fonts that are installed, which I can see when I filter the list on the left. Protected system fonts also have green bars, as well as a lock icon. Fonts that are not installed, meaning they are available in Corel Draw only, have yellow bars. I can also filter this list to show duplicate fonts, and I can clean up my font list by right clicking to show duplicates and right clicking again to remove extras. If a font family header has a gray color bar, that means the family contains both installed and non-installed fonts. Right clicking on a font also provides an option to open the folder that contains the font. For any installed font that isn't system protected, I can right click to uninstall or I can use the uninstall icon. This will make the font available only in Corel Draw, but not in any other Windows programs. Similarly, I can install any non-installed font. The delete option will remove the font from its folder in Windows and cannot be used on protected system fonts. If you do choose to delete a font, you'll be asked to confirm the system change. By default, each font is displayed in its font name. I can enter sample text to see how each font looks with specific characters. The font names reappear when I clear this field. I can search for a specific font by starting to enter its name. The Font Manager also displays icons for font technology. An O indicates open type, T is for true type, and a letter A indicates a type 1 font. When a font is selected, its glyphs appear here, which include numbers, symbols, and special characters. I can filter this list to show only numbers, or currency, or characters of other languages. This matches what appears in Corel Draw's Glyphs Docker. If I'm looking at an open type font, I can filter for any available open type features, such as different stylistic sets. Under Libraries, I can define folders and collections. Folders are those watched by Corel for fonts, which by default includes Documents, Corel, Corel Content, Fonts, and everything in this folder and its subfolders appears in My Fonts. If I want to also use fonts that are in a different folder, I can add that folder to watch. I'll click Add Folder, browse to the folder that has the fonts, and click Select Folder. Now that folder appears in the Font Manager. Under Collections, I have one called Favorites, which I can populate by dragging in fonts. I can also right-click on a font to add it to a collection, or to multiple collections. 
I can remove a font from a collection by right-clicking and choosing Remove. This takes the font out of the collection, but doesn't delete or uninstall it. These other two collections were created when I installed font packs from Corel Content. The familiar Get More icon that's available in Corel Draw is also available here. I can click Add Collection to create a new collection, which I'll call Scripts. Now I can return to My Fonts, or another folder, search for fonts with script as a keyword, and populate this new collection. When I right-click on a collection or a folder, I can install or uninstall all of its fonts, or remove the collection or folder. Below folders are filters, such as font status, embedding rights, technology, weight, style, etc. These match the filters that appear in CorelDRAW's font list. Back in CorelDRAW, when I open my fonts list now, I have the new folder I added in the font manager, as well as my new scripts collection. The font manager works seamlessly within CorelDRAW or PhotoPaint, with no need for closing and restarting any application. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on Corel's font manager. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.